Hello folks, uh, welcome back once again. So this is uh, 2011, October, November, paper 2-3 and the question number is 3. It is concerned with uh, the concept of force, the concept of uh, uh, work, uh, energy and power and also the concept of elastic properties all combined into one, a typical A-level question paper. So uh, the first uh, uh, question number A says that we have to define the terms power and the Young's modulus. I will not be focusing on that. Uh, you can do it by yourself or you have to have it by heart. So uh, I'll start from question number B. It says that a crane is used to lift heavy objects as shown in figure 3.1. So this is the what it has shown here. This is the crane uh, motor here. It is it will be it will apply some force to lift the bodies like this. Uh, the motor in the crane lifts a total mass of 1800 kg, kg from rest on the ground. So it was uh, at rest on the ground. The cable supporting the mass is made of steel of Young's modulus. Young's modulus 2.4 into 10 to the power 11 pascals. pascals. The cross sectional area of the cable is 1.3 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. As the mass leaves the ground, the strain in the cable is 0 0.0010 strain. It will not have any units. Assume that the weight of the cable to be negligible. So, negligible here. Now, we have to use uh, use the Young's modulus of the steel, this value, to show that the tension in the cable is uh, this much. So, we have to show the value of tension in the cable. So, one thing to remember that uh, the relation for Young's modulus is equal to it is a stress by strain stress by strain which is equal to stress is a, a force by cross section and this is strain because we are given the strain we do not we don't have to go through the extension or the length so this gives me y into strain strain is equal to force by a and 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 the force is equal to y a into strain now the force on the string here is the tension force so we have this t equal to f equal to this much so this will be equal to uh, the young's modulus is 2.4 into 10 to the power 11 into the cross sectional area is 1.3 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square into and the strain is 0 0.0010 so when i calculate it the value will be equal to 2.4 exponent 11 into 1.3 exponent minus 4 into 0. Point, sorry 0. 0.0010 so this is equal to equal to equal equal to it has come to be 31200 newton so this is definitely nearby equal to 3.3.12 actually into 10 to the power of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So uh, we are neglecting this 2. So it gives us into 10 to the power 4 Newton as given by the question. So now in number 2, we have to find the acceleration of the mass as it is lifted from the ground. So what we have to remember is here we have got a system here. This is the uh, weight of the body, weight equal to mg acting downwards. This is the tension force here, T, acting upward. And here we have the acceleration upward here. So we must have the resultant force, which is equal to T minus W, should be equal to mass into acceleration. The resultant force equal to mass into acceleration. So which gives me T is equal to W. Sorry, I have to find the acceleration. So A is equal to T minus W by mass. T is equal to, here I have the value 3.1 into 10 to the power uh, 4 uh, minus this uh, W is equal to its weight. So weight is equal to, let me do it here. So A is equal to, T is equal to 3.12 into 10 to the power 4 minus the weight is equal to mass into G. So mass is equal to 1800 and Z is equal to 9.81 divided the mass is equal to 1800. So when I calculate it, the value becomes so this thing uh, minus 1800 into 9.81 like this so divided 1800 once again 
and the value comes to be equal to equal equal to 7.52 meter per second square so it is it is a 7.52 meter per second square so there's a blackout here so that's why you got uh, it a bit dark for a few seconds uh, usual property of Nepal though it is very much improved nowadays so now now in question 2 in question 2 we have to have the motor now lifts the mass through a height of uh, something 15 meters at constant speed at constant speed so it is now what we have now is here e equal to 0 that means the new tension is equal to is equal to uh, it is a uh, new tension minus w is equal to mass into zero so therefore tension nu is equal to simply w so that's equal to the weight of the body which is which is uh, uh, 1800 into 9.81 and that will be equal to equal to 1800 into 9.81 equal to it is it is 17 six five eight newton so when i write it in uh three sf or two sf it will be equal to in three sf it will be equal to seventeen uh seventeen thousand seven hundred newtons now the gain in pressure energy of the mass is equal to so delta in pe is equal to is equal to mg into this h that's equal to m is 1800 into g is 9.81 into h equal to it is 15 here 15 so that will be equal to uh, into 15 is equal to so it should be should be should be 264870 uh, joules so it will be equal to uh, 2.65 into 10 to the power power 1 2 3 4 5 5 joules so 2.65 into 10 to the power 5 joules now the last question here is the motor of the crane is 30 percent efficient so that means eta is equal to 0 0.30 30 percent means 0 0.30 calculate the input power to the uh, motor required to lift the mass at a constant speed of this much so first uh, we have to find the output power here because uh, um, it says that the mass is being lifted at a constant speed of this so since the speed is constant the tension or the force in the cable is this much is is this much or this much so what I have is the power output is equal to equal to the force existing there into the velocity that constant velocity and the force at that time is this t, t nu t nu into velocity equal to 17658 so i'm using this value here into v is 0 0.55 so this gives me 17658 into 0.55 equal to so it is it is it is 9712 watt so now i have got efficiency equal to p out by p in which means that power input is equal to power out by uh, eta equal to 9712 divided eta is 0 0.30 so this becomes equal to so divided 0.3 equal to so it is 32373 watt so the input power to the whole arrangement is when i write it here it is 32.4 kilowatt kilowatt or i can simply write it as write it as 3.24 into 10 to the 4 watt so since what is given here i have to compulsorily express this in terms of watts that's why it's 3.24 into 10 to the power 4 watts so that's how you solve this problem with 100 uh, percent correct 100 uh, percent uh, accuracy or precision